False teachers are everywhere, and we have been calling one of their names for quite some time. The name Hillsong. That should send a chill down your spine for those who love the Bible and what it actually teaches. These notorious false teachers really were, for a while, the number one leader of the pack of heresy and damnable doctrine in this world. I think that their day is done personally. I think the sun is setting on the Hillsong Empire, and for that I thank God. And it's gotten so bad with Hillsong that even the world is talking about how crazy these people are. And you know when it gets that bad, we've gone off the ranch. Unbelievable. And it's awesome to watch it. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Oh my goodness, Spencer Smith has been attacking Hillsong for the past few months and just blowing them up for probably about two years now. He did a document, like a little eight-minute video called The Hillsong Generation, where he blew them up and it went viral and went over a million views and it just, uh, and then it got shadow banned by YouTube and then, you know, then it kind of just tapered off. No, it, that didn't happen, but, you know, it just kind of tapered off. Now it's sitting at like 1.3 million views and this legalistic, pharisaical King James fundamentalist is out there attacking these people. Oh, it can't be that bad. He's just being narrow-minded and bigoted and just being horrible. Oh, he's such a Pharisee. He's such a legalist. I mean, God's bigger than him. He's judgmental. Oh my goodness gracious sakes alive. He's the worst. And now, February 16, 2022, the Discovery Channel is doing a documentary on how bad Hillsong is. The Discovery Channel. Can you imagine? <laughs> the Discovery Channel agrees with Spencer Smith on how bad Hillsong is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe maybe everybody at the Discovery Channel became a bunch of pharisaical, King James, legalistic, judgmental Pharisees. Maybe they did. I don't know. Variety.com says Hillsong, a mega church exposed docuseries, gets release date and trailer from Discovery Plus exclusive. I mean, this, this is the network that has Oprah Winfrey on it. And even they are saying that Hillsong is bad. Here's the article Discovery Plus has unveiled. Oh, I'm having a good time today. Y'all pray for me. Whew. Discovery Plus has unveiled the trailer for its three-part docu-series, Hillsong, a mega church exposed, an investigation into the church made by made famous by celebrity congregations such as Justin Bieber, various Kardashians, and other stars. All three episodes will drop on the streamer on March 24th. The series explores the rise of Hillsong, which is founded in Australia by Brian Houston as an offshoot of his father, Frank's Sydney-based Pentecostal church. And by the way, his father, Frank, was was a uh, uh, is in jail for liking kids too much, if you know what I mean. Hillsong stood out by putting an emphasis on music as part of worship. Later, Houston decided to export Hillsong internationally and recruited Pastor Carl Lentz to lead his New York City chapter. Lentz became famous in his own right and often photographed along Bieber and other celebrity congregants until Houston fired him in November 2020 for moral failures among among other issues. Here's the trailer for this. Let's just see what this trailer looks like for a second. And uh, let's play this for a second. Have you ever heard of Hillsong Church? Hillsong is the celebrity church, right? Beaver, Bono, Vanessa Hudgens, Kevin Durant. It wasn't just this Australian startup anymore. Oh, I love it. Look at the cubes. Oh, that's the cult of Saturn all over. This thing is so occultic. Oh, my goodness. And it talks about, I, I love, this is like Mike Myers music. I love it. Thank you so much, Discovery Channel. Hillsong Church? Hillsong is the celebrity church, right? Yeah, that's Mike. That's like, <laughs> that sounds like Halloween. Oh, good. It's perfect horror music, horror music theme. This Australian startup anymore. It was Justin Bieber's church. They've had over 3 billion views on YouTube. Hillsong changed the way that many of us saw. Yes, it did. Done. It's absolutely true. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. And it talks about the bullying and all there the stuff the going on. And... <laughs> It almost took my life. You can run on for a long time. <laughs> and they even got Johnny Cash music playing. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for exposing these terrible monsters. These people are horrible. Hillsong is Hillsong. You people are evil. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, my goodness. See, these, these girls went to this college and got 
you know, assaulted. And I mean, this everything here is bad. Everything here is wrong. And thank you, Jesus, so very much for this wonderful documentary. I I I actually have Discovery Plus. I don't watch much on it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching that now. And uh, I'm gonna I can't wait. I'm gonna mark my calendar. I love it. I'm gonna mark my calendar. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Um, it says here, indeed, the church continues to be mired in controversy with Houston recently stepping together for the rest of the year so he can fight criminal charges in Australia that he covered up decades-old child abuse perpetrated by his father, which he, you know, apparently he did, and uh, break light uh, p- pictures, part of the contingent group associated with New York Post. Man, the New York Post has even turned on these people. Oh, man, this is awesome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look, guys, these people are crazy. And, and the music is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. You have to realize all bad music is born out of bad doctrine. And bad doctrine oftentimes is very heavily associated with bad morals. So if a man has bad morals, and he, he's probably going to have bad doctrine. If a man has bad doctrine, he most likely has bad morals. And and none of this stuff about these these girls getting hurt and all these the, the bullying and the uh, and the assaults that went on at this Hillsong place, I mean, it, it none of this surprises me. When we talk about Carl and purity, well, how could you shame me when I was so young, but you did this? Sure, sure. The hypocrisy of all that. And, uh, oh man, this is going to be juicy. I, I am thankful for this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's all coming down, but I want to warn you. I want to warn you of something. Okay. The devil's going to replace him. He's going to replace these people. And I am, I, I'm pretty sure that Maverick city music is going to take the slot that Hillsong is now vacating. So don't you believe for just a second that this is over. Satan always has somebody ready. Now the Hillsong empire is crumbling and hallelujah. It's on fire and I'm grabbing the marshmallows and the hot dogs. I'm having a good time. This is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Ding dong. The witch is dead. I mean, all that. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Uh, But the, but the devil's going to replace him. I, I personally, as I, as it sits right now, I think Maverick city music is going to be the ones that replace these people. Uh, and they're just as bad. They're just as bad. They just haven't had the time to show you that yet. We got this figured out, man. Praise the Lord. I love Jesus. I love my Bible. I hate error. I hate false teaching because of what it does to people. But then again, what do I know? I'm just a guy with a Bible. I'm just a guy with a Bible that that the Discovery Channel just happens to agree with. Maybe, maybe we are telling you the truth here. Maybe we are the lone voice in the wilderness. Huh? Guys, if there's a red button below that says subscribe, hit that button. You, uh, that means you're not subscribed to this channel. So please hit that button. You will want to be subscribed to some of the good content we got coming up in the very near future and, uh, hit that like button guys. And we love you all. Have a good day.